Hi ladies, and welcome back to the Hot and Healthy Hot Seat. While we're all here because we wanna lose weight and look toned, hot, and sexy, I gotta be honest, losing weight is not the same as losing body fat. In fact, this video is gonna go through the five reasons why targeting fat loss and not just weight loss is better for your body, better for your health, and better for looking hot. I quickly want to explain why weight loss and fat loss are actually not the same things, because I know it's kind of confusing, but it doesn't have to be. So when you think about your weight, your weight on the scale, 130, 150, 200 pounds, 250 pounds, whatever that number is, it just describes your weight. The easiest way I can put it is your weight doesn't tell me what makes up your weight, AKA your fat versus your muscle mass. I'm sure you've probably seen photos on the internet of people's transformations. I mean, even on my website, I have so many clients that have done the same thing. They've lost body fat, but the scale hasn't changed tremendously. For instance, I've had clients lose no weight or one pound on the scale, but then they look like they lost 10 pounds, 15 pounds. And this is really getting at the fact that weight doesn't describe how you look. Muscle and fat both weigh the same, but they take up different amounts of space. So that's why the goal is not just to lose weight on the scale. You wanna specifically target shedding body fat in building or at least maintaining your muscle mass. And on that note, here are the five reasons why fat loss is better than weight loss. Reason number one, what it takes to lose fat and not just lose weight is actually gonna help you prevent muscle loss. I always put it this way, while losing weight can be really hard for people, you can slash calories, go on a restrictive fad diet, and hell yes, girlfriend, you're gonna lose a shit ton of weight. But where is that weight coming from? That's the beauty of fat loss. With fat loss, you have to be in a slight deficit, eat sufficient protein, enough protein for your body, and lift weights or do some sort of resistance-based exercise. Look at my little dance, guys. By doing this, you're going to lose weight, but you're gonna target fat loss and keeping as much muscle as possible. This is so crucial. I mean, literally, guys, so crucial for your metabolism. We always throw out the word metabolism, and honestly, I feel like so many people like don't actually know what metabolism means, although they talk about it a lot. Your metabolism is basically how many calories you burn a day and how you use food as fuel, aka energy, inside of your body. Having more muscle mass is crucial to get that toned look you're going for, to make sure you're not suppressing your metabolic rate, aka it takes less calories to maintain your weight, you wanna make sure that's staying high as possible. And it's also really important for your health. And it leads me to point number two. More muscle mass is better for your hunger and fullness. In fact, we see this in research at the end of what we call the dieting rainbow. When you lose more muscle mass, your body is like, no bueno, this shit is not good. In fact, your hunger hormones begin to drive up after dieting in hopes of putting on more muscle mass, eating more calories so you can put on that muscle mass and building that muscle back. So when you lose more muscle dieting, it's not only horrible for your metabolism, but it's setting you up to regain weight again. And you're gonna get so hungry, so how the hell are you gonna maintain your weight loss? Moral of the story, by focusing on fat loss and not just weight loss and keeping your muscle mass, you're gonna be fitter, healthier, stronger, sexier, and actually not feel freaking hungry every darn day of the week. And this all brings me to point number three, ladies. It's better for your health. I always talk about being hot, and being healthy. We don't just wanna look hot, we wanna be healthy or else we can't maintain the progress. Several studies have linked a high fat to muscle ratio with many, many chronic diseases. Metabolic syndrome, heart disease, and even diabetes are linked to having more fat mass, less muscle mass, and setting up our metabolism not to be optimal. Optimal means how we metabolize and use food for fuel. So more of the story, you want more muscle mass, ladies. And when you're fad dieting, just focusing on weight loss, you're gonna lose that muscle mass and set yourself up for health problems down the line. Number four, you're gonna look better. When you lose all of your muscle mass because you diet the wrong ways, you're not only left with hunger, no muscle mass, but you also aren't gonna have that strong, sexy physique. And you can look like what a lot of my clients call skinny fat where you're thin, but you don't have a lot of muscle tone. You don't feel like you're fit and like look like you work out. That's why once again, the goal is not just weight loss. We want to lose body fat and keep our muscle mass. Or better yet, lose fat and gain muscle at the same damn time. And number five, and this is actually probably one of my favorite things because it's real success, ladies. You're actually gonna be able to keep this weight off. 
When you lose weight the right way, and you're not just focusing on quick fixes and fads that just promote quick weight loss, you're setting yourself up for success for life. Because to do this, you can't do this overnight. This takes hard work, it takes time, it takes patience, and it takes consistency. To lose body fat and keep or build muscle, you can't do it through a quick fix where you're just cutting out food aimlessly. You have to be strategic. So if you've been crash dieting for a long time, I feel the pain, girlfriend. I was in your shoes before. I lost all my muscle mass dieting the wrong way in college. But as I always like to say, it's never too late to start. If you're needing more support with knowing how to do this, I have tons of free resources in the description below, so be sure to check it out. And of course, ladies, like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, always leave them in the comments section. I check it all the time, ladies. And I will see you next time in the hot and healthy hot seat.